Hi everyone, Papa Ken here. Bit of a format change tonight because of the fact that I am very short on time. It's Monday night, just saw Frank and Weenie, and I figured rather than stay up till all hours of the night and you know lose tons of sleep when I have a full-time job, I decided that it would be best to give you all my first impressions of Frank and Weenie and give the best uh, summarization, well not summarization, but the best summation of my thoughts that I can. Uh, this movie is based on, well, it's by Tim Burton, who has brought us such gems as Abraham Lincoln v Vampire Hunter, uh, the latest uh, blah, Alice in Wonderland movie before. But anyway, this movie is based on a short Frank and Weenie that <clears throat> Tim Burton made back in, I want to say, 1986. If I got that wrong, I'll post that on the video here somewhere in editing, but it's based on a short of his that he made a long time ago. And knowing that, going into this movie, I was hoping that even though Tim's recent movies just have, re I mean, honestly, they haven't been that good. It's a lot. Some of them have made a lot of money, but they just haven't been that good. So I was hoping that since this was based on a project that he did a long time ago, <clears throat> that this might be something he would put a lot of effort to, would put a lot of love into. And he did. The, honest to God, this movie blew me away. Uh, I expect I went in with high expectations. I honestly did, and it met those expectations and exceeded them in many ways. Uh, obviously, I can't go into too much detail because you know spoilers, but but this the movie has so much heart. The story, the story is very simple. I actually uh, talked about this with one of my friends online, Mark Hoban, a little bit, and you know he commented on how the story was very simple, and I agree. But the movie, well, both the short and the movie are based on the original uh, Frankenstein movie that came out. I don't remember the year, but it's it's very, very, very heavily uh, influenced by that, and really. Classic horror movies in general, it, it draws an inspiration from all of those in many ways, as you will see when you see it. The movie itself draws so much inspiration from these classic movies that it doesn't need a complex story. And really, I feel like if a complex story or if it got any more complex than it was, as simple as this movie's story was, that it would have really been a detriment to it because then there would have been too much filler. So as it was, story-wise, excellent. Perfect for the genre, perfect for what it needed to be. I would say probably the only thing that really did bug me was the fact that some of the townsfolk and Victor Frankenstein's parents played a very... It was one of those cliches where the adults are dumber than the kids. And, I mean, that's not... <laughs> it's a cliche that's used a lot in movies. And although it's a cliche, I honestly don't feel that it was overly used in this movie. Maybe a little bit too much at first, but as the movie went on, it just smoothed itself out, and the movie just became, this, this uh, honest to God, a masterpiece. I, I, I'll say it, this movie was excellent. I love the movie Paranorman, another horror-themed animation film that came out recently. Uh, if you saw my review for that, you can see that I love it. I gave it a good score. This movie, it, it exceeded Paranorman. Honestly, it, it exceeded most films that I have seen this year, and that is no lie. Uh, despite its simplicity, and I saw it in 3D. Uh, I hate 3D movies. I hate it when movies are marketed in 3D. But there was something about the way this movie was shot. Uh, the, now, ugh, the, the 3D, the worst part about it was we're seeing it in 3D. The light reduction was really bad. That's That was annoying. But at the same time, and this is the feeling that I got after actually watching Frank and Weenie, was that I feel like I got to see a classic horror movie, because this is what it was. It was an homage to those classic horror movies. And whereas, you know, obviously, I mean, I'm only 28, I was too young to get to see those 3D movies where you wear the blue, and or not blue, but red and cyan 3D glasses, you know, from the classics, the classic horror movies back in the day. And seeing it in 3D in this style... It just, it felt right somehow. And there weren't a lot of those, there were 3D tricks, but they weren't annoying 3D tricks, which is, that's really hard to describe. I'm not exactly sure how to portray that exactly. But it was just, it was done really well. Uh, I, I don't want to blather on too long here, but uh, if you see it in 3D, you won't be disappointed. You can see it in 2D and it won't be any big deal, but 
No matter what format you see it in, it's a great movie. Story, excellent. Characters, <laughs> you have a huge assortment. You see, I mean, you see most of the primary characters in the trailers, but you, <laughs> the characters are all enjoyable. There's not, there wasn't a single character, okay, maybe one, but it was a side character. There were no primary characters at all that I wish hadn't been involved in the movie. It was, it, uh, it was near perfection, near perfection. And I, I don't like to say that. Uh, and, you know, I feel I may change my mind later. Again, this is first reaction, but such a good movie. Uh, what, what else do I have to say? Um, other than the obvious Frankenstein comparison, you, you get some other monsters. I won't say what they are. I think some of them might be in the trailers, but you know, I won't ruin that for you. All you need to know is you need to see this movie. You need to see it. I don't think it's doing very well. It's doing better than uh, Dread 3D, I believe, which is good. But still, if you have been put down by Tim Burton at all in, by recent movies, but you still enjoy animated flicks, and especially, especially if you enjoyed not, uh, not I was going to say Nightmare on Elm Street, Nightmare Before Christmas, this movie will not let you down. It is phenomenally done. It is very much, very much worth your time. And in truth, I think it may be one of the best Halloween films that will come out this year. There's a lot of scary movies coming out, but honest to God, this movie is worth seeing this Halloween, or by Halloween. Don't let it pass you by. I, I can't recommend it highly enough. I Honestly, if I can convince my wife to go see it, she's not a huge fan of Tim Burton's animation style, but I would love to go see this again. And I would see it again in 3D. And that's saying a lot coming from me. So, I guess in summation, excellent movie. Go see it. 10 out of 10. I'm Papa Ken, and I'll see you next review in my regular format.